good. That was nice and continuous, smooth, nice. So we're working on white belt emergency braking procedures. So we got the start, we got the shoot, comes down 20 miles an hour. It was 25 feet, but I played a trick on him. I actually moved it up three more, so he's actually trying to stop in 22 feet. Nice. Look at how did that feel? That looked good. So what we did was, what's kind of cool is during this whole process of learning to concentrate smooth, continuous braking and feeling the bike, you know, move underneath you, the front end's compressing nice and evenly and smoothly. This is his rear tire because he was a little too heavy on the rear. He knows what that feels like, that skid. Good. Nice. And then this is from the front tire. So this was a separate run where he, what he did was it was continuous. And then the last second, I guess he must have felt some pressure. Like, you know, this is like, oh, oh crap, I'm heading towards the guardrail. And he finished the rest by stabbing it, locked up the tire and it moved forward. And I told him, he's like, you know, what probably happened was when you stabbed the, the brakes like that in the front, it, the front slams down and the, the suspension can't do what it does to help absorb some of that, scrub off some of that speed. The front tire locks up and he skid. And at least he knows what the front skid feels like and the rear tire skid feels like and how, what, and why they do that. So this is pretty cool. I love this. This is great. You know, not too many people, you know, guys who think, or gals, who think that they're awesome bars and they don't need the brake because they'll never need it. You know what? I pray, I, I hope you're right. Good luck with that. But you know what separates a mediocre rider from a skilled rider? Practice, real stuff here. So anyways, I man, I just love practicing here. This is great. This is motivating me. So enough chit chat, I better get that. Until next time.